Hey everyone, this is Trent from ExtremeRigs.net and today we have something very exciting for you. It is the launch of a new kit system which we're launching in conjunction with EK. And these are kits uh, not in the traditional um, style of a kit which is very much a um, all-round attempt to use with any kind of case type kit. The, these are kits that are specifically designed to be compatible with specific cases. And the first case that we're going to be dealing with is the Case Labs S8. This is the Case Labs S8 right here. Hopefully, if you're watching this video, you've already bought one of these or you're about to buy one of these. It's a great case. We reviewed it last year um, and we gave it a gold award. It's one of the best cases we've ever seen. Uh, it isn't cheap, but neither is water cooling. Uh, so, really what we want to go over first is what options on this case do you need to work with the water cooling kit. Uh, now with most cases there aren't really many options, but with case labs there are not quite infinite options, but a lot of options. So, uh, the most important one by far for this case is to get one with two 360 mounts on the top of the case. So, in the top here, you're going to want to mount two 360 radiators. Um, and there's about 10 different options just for this top plate. Uh, and of those 10 different options, there are two options that let you mount 360 radiators in the top. One is a drop-in mount, which is $20 more, and one is the regular uh, double 360 mount, which Case Labs calls the 120.3 X2. So in other words, a 120 three times times two, if you see what I mean, a 360 by two. So that's the option you want, either of those two. We would heavily recommend spending the extra $20 and getting the drop-in mount, and you'll find out why that is later. The 120.3 is the most important option because in the kit we have two 360 radiators. So that's why we need that option. Uh, the other option that we're hoping for is that you're not going to be running a motherboard that is larger than the extended ATX size, something like a Rampage Extreme, for example, will fit with this kit. But if you have a two processor motherboard, although it will fit in the case, you will have to rearrange some of the components in the kit. You can make it work, but it's not going to be out of the box compatible. Uh, just to run through some of the other things you can customize, you can customize uh, what this door gets. You can customize what you put in these front bays. You can customize these input output options. You can customize the tray for the motherboard. We would recommend the smaller ATX size tray. Um, and you can customize what goes in this chamber here. Uh, by default it's hard drives. You can put other stuff in there if you want. So that's just a brief summary of the options. Okay. Let's move on to the kit itself. The kit itself comes with two 360 radiators. It also comes with a pump, a reservoir, a CPU block, tubing, and fittings. So if you want to put a graphics card in your loop, you're going to need a water block specific for that graphics card. Obviously, we couldn't uh, just decide this was only going to be compatible with one graphics card. So as most of you will want to do, you will need to go and buy a graphics card block to go with this if you want to put your graphics card underwater, and you don't. But with two 360s, that's more than enough cooling for a CPU. So we're expecting you to add your graphics card into the loop, but we don't include it in the kit just because it's impossible to do that. The last thing to mention is that if you've ordered uh, case labs from outside the US, you may have had the case shipped to you flat pack style in order to save shipping. So for some of you, you may need to assemble the case yourself and you should get instructions with it showing you how to do that. It is fairly simple, um, although it may not be obvious. So it's not hard to do, it may take you 30 minutes, it may take you an hour, um, and it's, it should be built like a tank when you're done. So uh, now that we've talked enough about the case, let's, let's start showing you how to assemble the kit. 